back to study tips for IGCSE mathematics. Today's topic is related to reviewing number concept. Without further delay, let's begin with identifying different types of number. We have a natural number. What is a natural number? Natural number is any whole number from 1 to infinity. Example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Secondly, we have odd number. What is an odd number? Odd number is a whole number that can be divided exactly by 2. Example, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. Next, we have even number. Even number is a whole number that can be divided exactly by 2. Example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. What is integer? Integer is any of the negative and positive whole number, including 0. Example, you might have negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and so on. And what is a prime number? Prime number is a whole number greater than 1 and has two factors. Example, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. And finally, what is a square number? Square number is the product obtained when integer multiplied by itself. Example, you have 1, 4, 9, 16, and so on. 2 to the power of uh, 4, 2 to the power of 4 is become 16, 2 to the power of 2 is become 4, and etc. Fractions. Fractions is a number representing part of a whole number that can be written as a common fraction in the form of A divided by B or as decimal using decimal point. One and a half, one, one, one and a half. Next, we go to order of operations. What is order of operations? So at this level of mathematics, you are expected to do more complicated calculating involving more than one operators. In this case, it might be plus, minus, divide, multiply. But you have to follow a sequence of rules governing the order of operations, such as, first of all, you have to complete operations in grouping symbol first, and then followed by do multiplications and division next. Then you have to work from left to the right. And thirdly, you have to do addition and subtraction last, working from left to the right. We have some of the examples under order of operations. First of all, let's look at the first example. 3 plus 8 to the power of 2. The way how do you have to resolve these equations is 3 plus in bracket 8 multiplied by 8. Okay, so then we have 8 multiplied by 8 is equal to 64. When you want to solve the problem, you have to start from left to the right. So 3 plus 64 is equivalent to 67. The second example is, the questions given is 45 divide in bracket 20 multiplied by in bracket 4 minus 3 in bracket. 45 minus 20 multiplied by 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So as a result from 20 
multiply by 1 is equal to 20. 45, then we have to solve the equation from the left to the right. 45 minus 20 is equivalent to 25. And then we have the third example. 10 minus 4 in bracket multiply by in bracket 4 plus 9. Based on order of operations, complete operation in grouping symbol first. So what we have to do, we have to start from left to the right. 10 minus 4 is equal to 6 multiplied by 4 plus 9 equals to 13. So 6 multiplied by 13 is equivalent to 78. The final example is you are not being given the bracket. So how are you going to form this to solve this complication problem? So 4 plus 28 divided by 17 minus 9. So what you have to reorganize it, 4 plus 28 in bracket divided by 17 minus 9 in bracket. So 4 plus 28 is equivalent to 32. You divided by 17 minus 9 is equal to 8. So 32 divided by 8 is equivalent to 4. Next, we go through about rounding numbers. Okay, what is rounding numbers? Rounding numbers is actually, in many calculations, particularly decimal, you will not need to find any exact number. Instead, you will be asked to give an answer to a stated level of accuracy. For example, you may be asked to give an answer correct to two decimal places or an answer correct to three significant figures. So to round a number to a given decimal place, you look at the value of the digit to the right of the specified place. Example given, the question is asked for you to round the number to the nearest whole number. The question given is, the numbers is 64.838807, whereby 8 is the digit next to the decimal point. So when you want to round the numbers to the nearest whole number, the answer should be 65 because 8 is greater than 5. Okay, we have the next question whereby he will be asked you to round the number to one decimal places. We have the digit here, 64.838807. When you want to round to the first decimal places, you have to look at the digit that next to decimal point 8 and the next digit is 3. Because of 3 is less than 5, the answer it should be 8 is to remain unchanged. So the answer is when you round the number to one decimal places, it's become 64.8. I think that's all for this topic that I already delivered to you. Hope by this topic, you might get him what is actually really